Welcome back to Peach State Politics. I'm Stephen Fowler, your GPB Education Capital Correspondent. The hour of convening has arrived, and I am talking about the final day of the legislative session, Signy die. There are no signs and nothing dies this session, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about the final day of the session. Signy die is a Latin word that means without day and signifies the end of the 40-day legislative session. Now, it's a marathon day with both the House and the Senate having one goal, to pass a bill out of both chambers to get it to the governor's desk so it can be signed into law. This is the first year of a biennial legislative session, which means if it doesn't pass this time, it gets another year during next year's legislative session. What we have in a lot of cases is like this. The House has a version of the bill that it likes. The Senate has a version of the bill that it likes. The House passes the bill over to the Senate. The Senate says, no, we don't like this, and sends it back to the House, which goes back to the Senate, and so on and so forth, and ping pongs back and forth until we finally get a conference committee report on a bill that has both chambers' approvals of what they like and what they want to have in it. So oftentimes, Sine Die will run until 11.59 p.m. There have even been some cases where people have changed the clocks or pretended the clocks didn't exist in order to get through all of the bills that they want to get done. On Sine Die, you will find members of the House and Senate scurrying back and forth from conference committee meetings, voting on dozens and dozens of bills, and generally trying to figure out what goes on. If you think things are rapid fire now, wait until you see the last day. Sine Die! Sine Die! Sine Die! Sine Die! Just because the session is over doesn't mean I'm going anywhere. If you still have questions about how our government and legislature works, shoot me a note at gpb.org PSP and I will happily answer your questions. I'm Stephen Fowler, your GPB Education Capital Correspondent. As always, thanks for watching.